Okay guys, so I thought we'd have a bit of an experiment today. I've managed to get hold of one of these uh, Lishi HU66. And as you can see there, we've got version three there. Um, so it's the latest version there. Um, looks like quite a good tool actually. And as you can see by all the markings there for all the wafers within the lock. So we should be able to just sort of literally just go onto each one and uh, sort of should be okay to pick and obviously decode. Obviously the downfall to this, obviously we're gonna need a pen and paper to uh, decode the lock. Um, but I guess once we've actually got it picked, we can just sort of go back through, work out where our markings are for the decoding process. So it looks like quite an interesting tool. Be interesting to see how easy it gets into the, one of these locks. And of course the HU66 turbo decoder, which you've already seen in one of my previous videos. I'll leave a link up in the top right hand corner there. Fantastic bit of kit, I've got to say. Really, really nice bit of kit. Um, but I'm just going to sort of give you a couple of tips as well. Um, some of the things I've learned over the course of the last couple of months um, about this to make your life easier when you're using it. And of course, we've got an Audi A4 door lock. I um, bought brand new and I said sold, sold to me as the uh, Audi A4. Of course, we've got a key for it as well, so we can see it's all working absolutely fine. So it should be an interesting experiment. What we're going to do, we're going to get it in the vice, but just before we do, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then just hit that subscribe button and that bell icon, and you'll see every video as it's uploaded. Okay guys, so the uh, Audi A4 lock, as you can see, is in the vice. Of course, it's working absolutely fine, as you can see there. Um, I thought we'd try the uh, HU66 uh, uh, Lishi first on this lock, and then uh, go from there. Okay, so we get the uh, tool in there. Of course, we open this up to tension it. Now, tension-wise, don't want to put too much tension on it, but it's just about getting that balance right. And then obviously, as you can see there with the, uh, the indicators there for where the wafers are, we can just go through and uh, hopefully get this decoded relatively uh, smoothly. Okay, so what we're doing, we'll start at the top and then just work through. So one. Okay, got a little bit of resistance and a little click. Nothing there on two. Five, nothing. And six, nothing. So then the bottom wafers, number eight. Oh, we're binding quite heavy there. Okay, got a nice little click on eight. Seven's fine. Three and four is binding now. Just nice and gently. Okay, got a little click. You probably saw a little bit of movement on the cord that time as well. Let's go back from the top, see where we are with the top. A little click out of one. Nothing out of two. Five's binding. Okay, and we are open up a five, so not actually too bad there. Um, and obviously for decoding, obviously we'll just go back through. So obviously six has got a four probably. Uh, five is a two. Two is a two. And one is a one. Uh, then we've got a two on eight. Seven is a three. Uh, four is a two. And then three is a three. So yeah, so relatively simple there. Okay, so that's the uh, Lishi um, uh, HU66 version three. Worked absolutely superb. Right, back to the uh, HU66 quick decoder. Obviously, as I said before, obviously I featured this in a previous video. Um, right, so first of all, we need to uh, make sure we zero all the um, little wafers there, as you can see there. So we'll just get them all zeroed. Really quite important to make sure they're zero correctly. Um, makes it a little easier for the uh, decoding. Okay, just make sure they're all on that zero there. Relatively straightforward to do. Okay. I'm just going a little bit higher there. That's better. Of course, that one there and that one there. So as you can see now, obviously we've got all the wafers there nice and uh, in line and zeroed. Um, as I said before, obviously we just make sure this slider is uh, um, covering all the uh, wafers and then of course we can uh, go into the lock. Okay, so we can slide this in, make sure we don't get that, that's good. And then once we're fully in, if you retract the um, protective cover and then obviously just give it a pull, if it pulls like that, you know you're in the wrong way. So just slide that back, just pull that back out, reverse it. And let's just get ourselves in there nice and simple. 
Okay, right to the end, reverse, pull it out again, and obviously you just get no movement on the on the actual tool itself there, so you know you're in the right area. Okay, now obviously it is a um, impressioning tool, so obviously we're gonna go left and right rotation. Definitely not like this, left and right that way. It's always in rotation, left and right. And also we can go up and down against the actual tool itself, um, and that will get it decoded quite quickly. So we're gonna start that now, so up and down, up and down to the left, up and down to the right, and give it. And then of course, once again, Okay, but definitely not left and right that way. It's always got to be in rotation, up and down, against the actual uh, lock itself. And now, of course, we can go through that again. And there you go, we are done. So very, very simple tool to use. Of course, we can take that out there, whip it out. And of course, you can see where it's actually gone through and decoded that uh, lock. So of course, we could have a duplicate key made um, to make sure we can uh, go from there. So just to prove again, obviously we'll put the uh, decoder back in. Okay, and retract the lock. And there you go, we're absolutely perfect again. So it's a very, very, very effective tool. Uh, one of my favorite uh, lock tools, I've got to be honest with you, the uh, H66 Quick Decoder. A wonderful, wonderful tool. And like I say, as long as you follow those steps, make sure all the um, wafers are zeroed, uh, make sure you've got it in the correct orientation, and then left and right motion, up and down against the tool. Definitely not left and right this way, because it'll just snap. Um, so that's my um, tips and recommendation for the uh, HU66 against the uh, HU66 Lishi. Both very, very good tools and very, very effective. Listen, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Of course, I'll be back with another lock very shortly.